Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Rennix at Watercolour Workshop. We're going to today we're going to work in the style of Kristen Newby's uh, watercolour birds. I've started by drawing a, a simple outline. I've pressed a little bit harder here than I would normally, uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration, but try not to press too hard. I've used an F pencil, which doesn't show through as much with watercolour. Just get the basic basic details in and then you can start painting. I've prepared all my paint. I've started with the lightest colour and I thought it was a bit dark so I started lifting out a bit of the colour with um, a, a, my brush and a bit of water on a kitchen towel. I'm working in wet on wet to get those lovely effects you get with watercolour. And I've mixed up a, a lot of red there as you can see so that I don't have to remix while I'm working. I'm using uh, quite a, a, th a thick paintbrush, which I can load up with a lot of water, and I'm adding more water and paint into it so I can get that lovely drip that Kirsten Newby gets in her work. I'm coming in here with the black, and I've, you can see, I've let the paintbrush dry out a little bit as I'm going along so that I can get some lovely texture when I'm using a dry brush. Just, and just be free, just let it, your brush flow freely. I've added a little bit of uh, few, some few details in here, some sort of feathers to create an illusion of feathers. But I've tried to keep the detail to a minimum just so that it's got that lovely kind of free flowing effect to it. As you can see here, I've splashed a little bit, so I'm coming back in with a little bit of water and dabbing it out. That's quite easily removed. Just coming back in with an extra little bit of detail once it's dry. Make sure between the layers if you don't want them to blend that you do let the, the painting dry. I didn't want the black merging with any of the other colours so I made sure that the, the red was dry before I came in with the black. Then I'm adding in the feet. I probably spent a bit longer on the feet than I've shown here adding a little bit, bit of detail and there were lots of colours uh, and then I'm putting the final fingerprinting that Krista Newby uses with her signature. I think the overall effect looks quite oriental. <laughs> 